The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. 548 now pay attention to your screen here. This is really cool. This is a fog bow that happened in Withville just yesterday morning, similar to how a rainbow will form, but the droplets in the fog are too tiny for us to get the Roy G Biv color. So you just get that brighter shade of white right there in Withville. Thanks to Tom for today's picture of the day. More fog out there, especially close to the river valleys like the new river valley. So you see that in parts of Wythe County, Pulaski, Giles and Montgomery. Montgomery counties also around the James River, the Dan River, the Maury River. That's where we're seeing again some patches of fog, something to keep in mind as you head out the door this morning. If your commute takes you near some of those watersheds, just allow yourself a few extra minutes. Outside of that, we're comfortable in the 50s currently. By 10 a.m., we're in the 60s, and we gradually peel away at the layers as we go throughout the day, just like the past couple of days. Lexington, Bedford, Alta Vista, 81 today, with Phil 77, Floyd 74, the high temperature. You fast forward to tomorrow, clouds gradually increasing. Therefore, highs aren't going to be quite as high. Roanoke 78, Danville 79, Martinsville 76, Blacksburg 74 degrees. So still pretty warm between today, tomorrow, and even Friday. But that's going to change with a cold front moving through. A limited moisture with that. So maybe a few showers late Friday into very early Saturday. But this is the big story, the shot of fall air that's going to follow. And it's going to ride in on some gusty wind. Friday, not so much. Saturday's when I expect the stronger wind gusts of 30 to 40 miles per hour. Sunday still breezy, but not quite as strong. So Sunday morning, we start out temperatures mostly low to mid 40s. Because of the breeze, I don't expect much frost to be developing. But once the wind calms down Monday morning, I could see some frost developing in parts of the New River Valley, the rest of the area 40 to 42 degrees. And when you look at the averages, when you look at the past weather here in Southwest Virginia, the average first frost in the NRV and in the Highlands is during the first week of October. So let's get to it. The New River Valley extended forecast nearing 80 degrees today. Not so much the next two days. Chilly start tomorrow, chilly start Friday. But then the weekend comes along and says you ain't seen nothing yet. High temperatures mid to upper 50s Saturday and Sunday. Lows Monday morning in the 30s. We'll have to watch for some patchy frost in the NRV by then. Roanoke Valley 83 today. That's the warmest of at least the next seven. And you see the chance for a few showers late Friday. Windy Saturday, cooler the rest of the way through. Highs in the 60s, lows in the 40s through early next week.